Hi. Hello. Hi, teacher. Hi, how are you? Hello. Hi. Fine. How's everybody? Hi, teacher. Hi, how are you? I'm fine. Good, all right. So welcome to another week. So let's see who we have already connected. We have Norma, Fatima, Mary, Jennifer. Let me see. Ale, Lisi, Jennifer, Guadalupe. Very good. Alejandra, Roxana, Elmer, James. Hi. Mirna, Xiomara, Roberto. Very good. Lots of people today. Very nice. I like that. Very good. So everybody welcome again. It's been, I feel like it's been a long time, eh? Yeah. When was the last time I saw you? I saw you last Thursday, right? We saw yes. each other last Thursday, yeah, right? Yes, yes. All right, very good. Okay, so how was your weekend? Did you work today? Yes. Yeah, you worked? Yes. No I'm holiday working. today? No. Oh my goodness. No. All right, <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah, it was a normal day for most of us, right? We had to work. All right, so um, today, guys, we officially begin section two of your platform. Do you know what the topic of today's class should be about? Very good, you know the topic, yes. Count yes. and non-count, okay? So you probably know this. It's not something like new for you, but we need to review it just to make sure that we really understand it. So are we ready to start? Yes, we yes. are. Yes. Very good. Okay, very nice. All right, so I have this for you right here. Can you see it? Yes. Okay, very good. Nouns. Count nouns, yes. Alex, nouns. I think, uh, yes. Alex, can you read it, please? Yes. Count nouns. Count nouns are nouns which can be counted. That means that there can be more than one. Ah, oh, very good. For example? For example, boy, dog, book, restaurant, sandwich, and strawberry. And a strawberry, very good. So if you notice, we have the, the little pictures and we have a boy, we have, well, we don't really have a dog in the picture. We have a book, a restaurant, a sandwich, a strawberry. All right, so those are the nouns that we can count. And of course, we can say one book or we can say uh, 10 books, all right? So we can count those nouns, all right? I think that's not so difficult to understand. We're gonna go with the other one. All right, then we have, oh, oops, we don't have that. Okay, let's see, yeah. Then we have this. Uh, Xiomara, can you read, please? Yes, countdowns. Use e indefinite? indefinite articles, a uh, or an before singular counts nouns. Before singular count nouns, okay, very good. Continue, Xiomara. Use a before words that start with a consonant sound. Okay. Use and before words that start with a vowel sound. All right, very good. So remember that the article, the indefinite article a uh, or an, depends on the sound of the following word, all right? No, it doesn't depend whether it is a consonant, it depends on the sound it makes, okay? If your following word sounds like a consonant, then you have to um, place the indefinite article a. Uh. If it sounds like a vowel, then you have to use an. Do you understand that? Yes. Guys, do you understand that? Yes, yes. 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 Do I say a university or I say an university? And ah, university. Yes. Are you sure? Ah, yeah. ah university. Ah, university, ah. all right, because you, it is a vowel, but the sound sounds like a consonant. 
You. What about umbrella? I say a umbrella or an umbrella. Um, um, an an umbrella. 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 An umbrella. So you notice the difference between you have the same vowel, but in one case the vowel sounds like a consonant, and in the other case the vowel sounds like a vowel. All right. So university and umbrella is the same you but different sound. All right. So it's that's when uh, we use an indefinite article a uh, or an. Okay. Okay. Now we can only use the indefinite article a uh, or an for count nouns because they talk about numbers. If I say I have a book, how many books am I talking about? One, one. one book. Only All right. One. Okay. One. So the indefinite article a or an, I will use it for count nouns. You understand that? Yes. Yes? All right. Yes. yes. For count All right. Count right. Count. Yes. Only for count nouns. Okay. So Mauricio Morales, can you read uh, the first, the words that begin with consonant? Read that um, column, please. First column. Okay, teacher. A t shirt, a hat, mm -hmm. a flashlight, a mountain, a rabbit, a calculator, a donut. Very good. All right. Norma Campos, can you read the other column, please? An ari, an onion, an umbrella, an elephant, an iron, an elevator, an egg. Very good. So if you notice, all of these nouns begin with a vowel sound, okay? That it happens that they are also vowels that's different, but the rule talks about the sound, not the letter itself, okay? And again, repeating the same information, we use a or an only for count nouns because a or an means one, okay? Okay. Well, then we have, so we have count nouns. The exception. Let's see. Um, uh, Lizzie, can you read the example or the exception number one? Hey, okay, your mic is off, Lizzie. Sorry. Okay. Exception number one. Use a before um, age that is silent. Example, an hour, an hour, an hour. Yeah. explanation. Age is a consonant, but the age is hour is silent. All right, very good. And this is what we, we, we were talking about. You say an hour, but you say a hotel. All right, it's the same age, but in one case it's... No. It's uh, mute, it doesn't make a sound, and the other one is, sounds like a J, hotel. So you don't say an hotel, you say hotel. All right? Uh, let's see, next one here. Uh, Roxana, can you keep on reading, please? Uh, count nouns. Count nouns, yes. Okay, count nouns can be singular or plural. To form the plural of most count nouns are is, es, or is. Or I. Well, uh, right. Yes, continue. Uh, continue. I, es. Yes. Example singular student, plural students. Brush, uh, brushes. Try, tries. Country, countries. Very good. Thank you, Roxana. All right. So if you notice what this rule is saying is that because they are count nouns, they can become also plurals, all right? So we say, usually, we add S, E, S, or I, E, S to the plural. For example, student, students, brush, brush, tray, trays, and country, countries, all right? So in the first example, for student, you only add an S for the plural form, students. For brush, because it finishes in S, H, you need to add ES, brushes, to form a plural. Tray, you leave it with just, you add only an S, all right, because before the Y, you have a vowel. And then country, you switch or you omit the Y and you switch it to I, and then you write ES, because before the Y, you have another consonant. 
country, countries. This rule right here, guys and girls, this uh, is talking about spelling, all right? The spelling of the plurals of count nouns. But then we have uh, count nouns that are irregular. Elmer, can you read that, please? Count nouns. Some count nouns change from singular to plural in an irregular way. All right. Examples. Singular. Men, woman, child. To foot person. All right. Plural men, women, children, kids, pit, people. All right. So for, thank you, Elmer. So you say for singular you have man, and for plural you have men. For singular you have woman, and for plural you have women. All right. Then you have a child, and you have children. You have tooth, and you have teeth. You have foot. You have feet. And you have person, you have people. people. You cannot say many persons because person has its plural. You say people, many people in class, all right? You say, okay, there are um, 20 women. No, you say 20 women, all right? Or I say, oh, I have three children. No, I have three children. Children is the plural already of child. So I cannot write an S to children. Otherwise, I'm saying S, 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 all right? So it's like a plural on a plural. That cannot happen, okay? Do you understand that? Yes. Yes. All right. But then again, if you have plural of these count nouns, they, they can be counted. You have, we have 10 men in class. There are five women in, I don't know, in the yard. Uh, she has two children. Uh, her teeth fell out, all right? Many teeth, all right? I have two feet, of course I have two feet. And then you say there are, I don't know, 20 people in class, okay? You can always add a number because they are count nouns, okay? So far, so good, you understand this? Yes. 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 Do you have any questions? Teacher. Yes. I'm sorry. That's uh, okay. Is that correct? Uh, say uh, the children, even if the if they are uh, teenagers or older older. Um. Yeah, I mean, you can say teenagers if you have teenagers, but if you consider them as your children, you can call them children. But usually children is like we're talking about probably 12 and under, and teenager like up to like 13 and up. All right, Walter. Okay. All right. And, mm -hmm. and when they are, they are, they are older. Like how old? When, we need to say uh, more than eight, 18. Then they are adults or young adults. Adults. Uh-huh. You can say young adults or just adults or just people in general. Okay. All right. Okay. When we, uh, we have to say uh, uh, how many sons and how many daughters uh -huh. we have. Sure, okay. also, yeah. And in that case, you're being a specific. You're only talking about sons and you're only talking about daughters. But in the case that I don't know if you have only sons or daughters or both, I can say how many children do you have? Usually when we ask that question, it doesn't matter if your child is 25 because we're not, I mean, in English, it doesn't mean niños or niñas. It means hijos and hijas for that particular question. Okay. Right? Okay, so in that case, I could ask you, Walter, how many children do you got? And you say, ah, oh, teacher, I got two, chi uh, two children. And I say, how old are they? Three and 19, all right? But they are your children because they are your hijos and hijas. Okay? Uh, okay. All right, very good. Okay. Um, any Thank other you. question? You're welcome, Walter. Any other question? No questions? Oh my goodness, you guys are very quiet today. Guadalupe, well, you understand? Roberto Garcia, you understand? Hi, Wendy. All right.
Everybody's understanding, Carlitos, Alberto, hi. All right, Ricardo, no problem, you understand? Yes, no problem. Okay, very good. Just make sure that if you have a question, you let me know, okay? Now we're gonna go talking. Okay. Thank you, all right, let's keep on talking here. Uh, Ricardo, can you read that, please? Count nouns. Count nouns, okay. Ricardo Diaz? Count. Count. <laughs> Count. With Ricardo, numbers. Ricardo. Can count it. Sí, eh, hola. Hola, yes. Mm. Uh, count nouns can be counted with numbers. Example, professor cookie, two cookies, stay, uh, 13 estate, uh, rabbit, uh, 10 rabbits. Right. Remember that when they are count nouns, you can say, like, if you have one, it's only one. But you have a hundred, then you say a hundred rabbits. I don't know or you have, I don't know, five children, or you ate 10 cookies, all right? So you, because you have nouns, you can um, actually add, you can add, guys, there's a, a noise going on here. Uh, you can actually add how many um, cookies you have or how many children you have or something, okay? Or just, you say, if you only have one, you can either say a professor, that means one, or one professor, that also means one, all right? Then we go on with non-count nouns. Carlos Alberto, can you read it, please? Non-count nouns, which can... Carlitos, I cannot hear you, Carlos. ...cannot be counted or are difficult to count. Oh. No, Carlos, your microphone is not working. All right, let's see. Um, Walter, can you read while uh, Carlos fixes his um, headphones? Okay, uh, can now, non can nouns. Non can nouns uh, are nouns which cannot be counted or are difficult to count. Thank you. Uh -huh, example, continue. Yes, go on. Example time, rise. Rise, yes. Weather. 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 All right, very good. Thank you. If you notice, when uh, Walter was reading, it says non count nouns are now not be counted or are difficult to count. Okay? For example, rice. You could count it, but it's very, very difficult because they are like very small and a lot of units of rice, okay? But if you have the time and you have nothing to do, you can count it, okay? But that's almost <laughs> impossible, right? Um, so that's why it's very important for you to remember that either you cannot count it at all or they are difficult to count, okay? So either way, they become non-countable nouns or, or non-count nouns, okay? Time, for example. Time in general, if you say, Jessica, how much time do we have left in the class? Then time is in general, all right? And we're going to see the difference. Why, when can we count time and when we can't? Because sometimes it's countable and sometimes it's non-countable. And I will tell you why jewelry and the same thing with money in the case it's not here but i'm just about to show it to you then we have this one uh elizabeth del carmen can you read that please okay of course uh, no count nouns no count nouns don't use a m or no one with no count nouns don't and no count nouns does, does, does not, not have uh, does not have a plural form. You use quantifiers, quantifiers. You use quantifiers to help count non count nouns. Thank you very much. Okay, so non count nouns. It says number one: do not use a and nor one because it makes no sense. Count nouns cannot be counted. So if you say a ah, traffic, you're trying to count it and you cannot count traffic, for example. You cannot say an, I don't know, an, uh, I don't know, an, um, uh, something with, that would begin with a uh, consonant sound, right? 
Because remember that a, an, or one means one. And you're talking about non-count nouns. That means zero. You cannot. No, no, no. Okay. Next, it says a non-count noun does not have a plural form. So I cannot say one. I cannot say traffic. Traffics. Sugar. Sugars. It's not countable. Uh, yeah, because they are non-countable. Non-countables. They don't have a plural form. Only singular. Okay. okay. Now. Um. Something else that is important to remember is that we, because we cannot write a specific, well, a specific number, you can use quantifiers instead of numbers. Quantifiers, we'll study them tomorrow. Today, I just want to remind you what non count nouns are and what count nouns are. Okay, we're going to talk about quantifiers tomorrow. Some, a lot, a few, a little, those are quantifiers, but that's tomorrow's topic, okay? Right now, I'm just reminding you what count and non counts are, okay? Let's go on here. No count. No. Teacher, I have a question. Yes, what's your question? <coughs> Can I say a juice? Can I say what? A uh, juice. Yeah, but in what sense are you saying it? Like, can I? Give me the, the exact example. Eh, eh, no, solo tenía la duda porque como decía que eh, juice no es eh, un, un, algo que se pueda contar. Mm -hmm. Pero si yo puedo decir a juice, porque digamos puedo decir, give me a juice, deme un jugo. Right. Yeah. Eh, in that case, it have there, okay, I'm going to say this. In some, in some nouns, Sometimes they can become either or. They can become countables or non-countables. For example, pizza or cake, or in this case, juice, all right? You say, I want to buy a pizza, and you're only buying one. But then I ask you, Ramiro, how much pizza do you want? I don't say how many pizzas. It depends on the context that I can like make it countable or non-countable. All right, but they are not, not all of them can be either or. They're either countable or they're either non-countable, but we have some exceptions. And the one you're mentioning is one of them. It would depend on what you're saying in the context that you're referring to it. Okay. okay. All right. And then Orlando, can we go on with this one, please? Non-count nouns? Yeah. Okay. Non-count nouns are classified into five different groups. Okay, so this is where I want I want you guys to pay attention because usually we know okay uh, the same examples of non-count nouns, but I'm going to tell you five different groups where they are classified when they are non-countable nouns. Okay, so pay attention to this one. All right, let's see, Ramiro, can you read? Um, can you read this one, Ramiro? Group A, so group number one. Group A, nouns that have distinct separate parts of the world. Example, milk, oil, wine, coffee, tea, yogurt, or mm, cholesterol, paper, soup, bread, meat, butter, Poultry. All right. Okay. Thank you. So it says uh, you look at the noun as a whole. You cannot divide it. All right. So for example, all the liquids, you cannot divide the units. Okay. You cannot see separate units. All right. So milk, you cannot say one milk, two milk, three milk while you're drinking it. You cannot separate the units. So it becomes a whole object. When it, come, it becomes a whole object or a whole noun, it becomes a non-count noun, okay? Uh, Noemi, can you read the other one, please? Group B. Okay. Now count noun. Group B, nouns that have parts that are multiple or insignificant to count. Example, rice, sugar, salt, Snow, then corn, higher, grass, popcorn. Okay, thank you so much. 
Ah, uh, okay. So popcorn is contable, teacher. Excuse me. <laughs> popcorn is contable. <laughs> According to this definition, it is not. <laughs> The, the units or the parts are too small or insignificant to count. Mm, All right? Insignificant. To yeah. Count. So, I mean, you, I don't know if you're going to have time to count every little corn that popped. Oh, yeah. And you say, oh, okay, I have five popcorns. You cannot say that. All right. So, it because the units are too small. Mm. All right. So, like, I uh, what eat I eat popcorn. <laughs> yeah. You eat a lot of popcorn or not so much popcorn, but you don't say, oh, I ate five popcorns. Yeah. You don't say that, all right? So, because the units are too small. The same thing happens with rice, sugar, salt, sandwich, corn, hair, a menos que solo tenga un pelito, all right? En la cabecita, de lo contrario, you, you cannot count hair, grass, uh -huh. popcorn, all right? So, those are too small to count. Estoy acordando de un chiste. <laughs> All right. el, de, el de un viejito con tres pelitos está con tres pelos que fue mechudo All right. you only count those three All right. someone else had a question did you guys say you have a question uh, I, I have a question Roxana I have yes, a question Roxana, tell me uh, are you going to give us uh, some writing material or not are you are you going to share us your PowerPoint presentation, no. Yeah, I can share my PowerPoint presentation for sure. Okay. All right. Because there I, are so much um, information. There's a lot of information. I know. I know. It's a lot, a lot of, of information. information. Yes. No, don't worry, Roxanne. I'll share it with you, okay? Okay. Thank All you. All right. You're welcome. Then we have group C. Um, mm -hmm. Let's see. Uh, Jose Luis, can you read it, please? No. Non counts nouns. Group C. Nouns that are classes or categories. Categories. The members of the categories category. are not the same. All right. The members of the categories are not the same. Thank you so much. So then we have money. A lot of people would say, teacher, but money, you can count it because you say, I have $5. All right. But you can, like, if I say how much, I say how much money do you have? I don't say how many money do you have? When you go to the store, you ask, how much is this? You don't say, how many is this? All right, why? Because, and it's telling you right now, the members of the categories are not the same. When we talk about money, we have nickels, we have dimes, we have pennies, we have dollars, we have quarters. So not all the of money are the same. That's why money is non-countable. Food, what for example. Beds? Excuse me? Teacher, what is beds? Ah, the bed, the bed, beds in plural, beds. Camas? Ah, huh. Okay, so food, for example, food is the uh, the category or the class, but inside, let's say, let, let's let's say it that way. Inside food, we talk about vegetable, we talk about meat, we have we have chicken, we have fish, we have lots of different um, members that make up food. All right, the same, thing ha the same thing happens with fruits. All right, you have bananas, mangoes, oranges, peaches, apples, um, papaya, you, have, you name it, all right? So fruits, it's also non-countable. Now, if I say, how many bananas did you eat? Yeah, I'm only talking about bananas, so in that way, I can count it. But if I say, how much fruit do you eat in a week? It, can, it doesn't matter the fruit you eat. There's like a lot of different fruits. That's why fruit is non-countable. All right. And the same thing with candy. The same thing goes with furniture. And the same thing goes with clothing. You can say how many chairs do you have? But if you talk about furniture in general, you have no, different right. types of, uh, of furniture. You understand that? Mm. Yes. All right. Okay. I understand. All right, then we have, um, also this is part of the, the, the other, the last example. We talk about mail, fruit, makeup, homework. Uh, that's why you don't say, I have, the teacher gave me two homeworks. Homeworks can never be pluralized, okay? It's because, it, because it is non-count noun, okay? Time okay. is also a non-count noun. 
different units. We talk about seconds, we talk about minutes, because, because we talk about hours, okay? Then we have this one, uh, group D, Esmeralda, Oliva, can you read it? Yes, I can. Uh, group D, nouns that are abstraction. Uh -huh. Example, love, life, uh, time, truth, beauty, luck, fun. Sí, porque es una forma. Eyes. Knowledge. Adva, I don't know where you are. Um, employment. Employment. Uh -huh. Patience. Patience. Information, happiness, education, experience, uh -huh. crime, music, education, experience. All right, I think uh, she's breaking up here. Okay, so happiness, education, experience, crime, music, art, work, and health. Work. They are nouns that are abstractions. You cannot count love. You say, I love you very much, or I don't love you at all, all right? But I cannot say, I love you four, or I love you five, all right? Uh, noise, you cannot say one noise, two noise, three noises. Or you cannot say, I have three educations. You cannot count that. Those are abstract nouns, okay? Sure. You get it? I yes. can say I can say I heard a noise. Yeah, I heard a noise. Yes, but you don't say I heard uh, if you heard more than like a particular noise, but then you say I heard lots of noise. All right? Okay. Okay, very good. Then we go with the other one, nouns that are subject of study. I know this is like a lot of information today, guys, okay? But I think it's necessary for you for you to know this. Ale, Arias, can you read this, please? Uh, yes, of course. Group E. Uh, nouns that are subjects of study. Examples, history, chemistry, English, zoology, grammar, geometry, Spanish, mm -hmm. art, biology, math, geography, music. Okay, very Even good. Uh -huh. Okay, even yeah. though mathematics ends with S, it is not plural. Okay, so whenever you talk about uh, language, like studies, subjects of study from school, you cannot pluralize it, all right? Okay. To sure. I'm not going to show you the other one right now because they are part of the class tomorrow. So what I want to do right now um, is I'm going to share a picture. And can you take a picture of what I'm going to show you? Can you hear me? Yes. Yes, yes right. teacher. Okay. Yes. So I'm going to share with you this. Please. And I want you to take a picture right now. Just okay. give me a second here. Take a picture of that right now. Okay. Good. All right, finished? Yes. 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 And take the following picture because we have to continue here. Okay. So it's the same worksheet. It's just finish it up. All right, that's the second picture. So you get everything. Okay. Okay. Now, what I want you to do, I'm going to send you to your group, and you have to decide, you have to work with your partner one by one. All right, for example, a star. Is it countable or is it uncountable? They are not under the category. You have to decide whether they are countable or uncountable. You know what I'm saying? 
So, this organization, the, yeah. uh, the yeah. no count in count. Yes, you yeah. have to right? organize them. Yes, very good, Noemi. Thank you. Okay, okay. so look at the words with your, the nouns with your classmates and decide whether they are count or non count now. Okay? Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right, I'm going to send you right now to your group so you can work on that. <laughs> Hi, teacher. Hi. 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 We need uh, help. We need to see. Okay, what do you need? Uh, we didn't hear you. Uh, what? Can you hear me now? Uh, a little. All right. What you're supposed to do, you're supposed to decide about the nouns and put them in the right category. If it is countable, you can write it under countable. Five nouns. All of them. Uh, follow. Yes. Uh, okay. Five follow and countable and uncountable. Yeah, you have to write the countable column and that non countable column and decide whether they are count or non count. Okay. Oh. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Igual he seguido escuchando en recortado. Ah, ok. Es que eh, aquí está lloviendo y en su casa no. ¿Cómo no? Ah, pues por eso. Eh, bueno, yo le entendí que hay que hacer eh, cinco oraciones. ¿verdad? ¿Cinco? 
oraciones, follow. Ah. Ajá. Aunque no dijo sentence. Es follow. Ya, ya me escuchan. Ah, ahorita sí. Sí. Ok. Sí. Eh, lo que tienen que hacer es con la lista que le di, tienen ¿Sí? que decidir si los eh, nombres que están ahí son contables o no contables. Ah, ah, aunque ya estén clasificados. Exacto, clasifíquelo ya ah. sea contable o no contable. Ajá, okay. Porque ahorita ah. no están en orden, ¿verdad? Mm, yeah. O sea, okay. no están bajo la categoría que deberían de estar, están en desorden. Ya, yeah. uh -huh. ajá. Ok. Que okay. ah, sí. All right, very okay. good. Okay. Okay, thank okay. you. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye. Ah, hoy sí. <laughs> sí. Sí, sí. Pero, sí, estaba bueno. viendo la captura y sí, realmente hay unos que no están en la categoría que deberían estar. Uh -huh. Por ejemplo, sí. chair. Chair is contable. Ajá. Uh -huh. Chair is contable. Eh, un contable. Yes. And the rain. Un contable. And minute. Minute is contable. Hi, Patricia. Hi, teacher. Hi, teacher. How are you doing? Yeah, fine. Thank you. Fine. Elmer, is it yes? Uh, I, I say to Patricia, the, the, the way of my easy for me is, ¿cuánto, cuánta, and cuántos, cuántas? For example, when uh -huh. you say uh, beach, job es cuántas playas, is contable. Okay. Uh, and, 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 and you say, Cuánto metal. Right. It's uncountable. That's right. And cuántas paredes. That's right. Is countable. That's right, yes. That, that, that is the way more easy, more easy for me. <laughs> <laughs> and, and for me, I understand oh. that. <laughs> okay, very good. Okay. Lo que pasa es que en español, eh, en español, el how many y el how much para nosotros es cuánto. ¿Y por qué está Pero hablando así, es, teacher? Hacemos ella. la diferencia de how much y how many dependiendo si es contable o no contable. Correcto. Mm -hmm. Ah, ok. ¿Está lloviendo? Un... How do you say cachimbazo, teacher? Claro, no, pero es cierto. <risa> <risa> ¿Es tu casa también, Elmer? Yes, yes. I live near... You? I know. Aquí you no. Remember? No está lloviendo ahí. No. No, pero es que aquí está como un diluvio. Sí, mm. aquí está bien fuerte. ¿Y a dónde están ustedes? En San Marcos. Ah, que yo estoy en, en camino al puerto. Ah, ok. No, no ha llegado todavía, no ha de tardar. No, claro. Y aquí por lo general <risa> llueve más y llueve mucho. Sí. El teacher es, es buena forma de aprenderlo, ¿no? Sí, claro que sí. Ya. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ok. Ok. Ok, very good. Go ahead. Eh, ¿Chi? Patricia. Sí. Ya. Yeah. Eh, contable. Contable. What? A plant contable. No, plant. Yes, contable. Plant. Baby contable. Contable. I have. Mm, I'm not sure with smile. Smile. Mm, uncountable maybe because you don't know how a lot of smiles you give in a day. Oh, or you can yeah. count the smile you give in a day. No. <laughs> okay. No. Uncountable. <laughs> yes, uncountable. Okay. It's finish. Finish, yes. Finish all the words. So. Yep. 
Uh, what is your name? Adriana, Roxana. Roxana, did you finish? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes. All right, very good. <laughs> Just give me a couple of seconds because I'm going to go check on another group. Okay. okay. And then my name is Roxana. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the teacher answered. Um, yeah. No contact. Baby. Baby oh. is contact. Yeah. Yes. Same. Because she looking. Um. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Listen. Okay. Oh, abandon. Okay. The smile. The smile is uncomfortable. Mm. Non comfortable. Mm -hmm. Non comfortable. Mm -hmm. Yes. People is not counter what you and comfortable to and this is the river love fish ball call meat village and start fish no contact. Jennifer and Alejandra, oh. you finished? Oh, yes. 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 Finished. Okay, very good. Thanks. Um, Just finish. Thanks. Um, Just check uh, according to class. Okay, is everybody finished? Yes. 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 Okay, so let's check it together. All right, guys, what about star? Countable or uncountable? Uncountable. uncountable. What is it? Countable. Uncountable. 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 Is stars? I mean, you can, you could count it, but it's very difficult to count. So they become uncountable. Yes. All right. Why? Because they become difficult to count. Be bad because bad. you this you can what is one star. Say one, two, three. Yeah, you can say one star, but can you actually count all the stars that are in the universe? <laughs> At least you yeah. say five you stars. Yeah. Sure, if you only see five, but really there are more than five. <laughs> A lot you of stars. That's How right. Many? A lot of stars. So star, it, it is uncountable. All right, because it's difficult to okay. count. What or when, when you say, uh, digamos, yeah. Madonna ganó dos estrellas en el paseo de la fama. Oh, yeah, Two different. stars. Yeah, that would be different. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Different. Teacher. Okay. Teacher. Yes. Teacher. Yes. In the context. I have a, I have a question. Yes, Elmer. When, when you say it starts, yeah, in plural is is countable. I mean, as we were saying, Elmer. I mean, you can say I see five stars right now, but you know there are more than five in the universe, so it's almost impossible to count the stars. So yes, when you use the plural. I mean, start. yeah, you say, I see, for example, as I said, you say, I see five stars right now, but you know there are many more 
So usually you can say stars are uncountable because there are too many. There are a lot of stars. So you can never finish counting them. Exactly. Uh, okay, I, I need to put the, the number before yeah. the, the word. Uh -huh. Okay, thank what you. What about river? Uncountable. Um, uncountable. Uh, countable. Countable. Um, you can say uh, there are like 10 rivers in El Salvador. I don't know how many rivers, but all right. By river and love. Love. Uncountable. Love, uncountable. Very good. Beach. Uncountable. 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 No, the beach, you can count it. You can say there are, I don't know, five beaches in El Salvador. You yeah. can count a oh, wall. Uncountable. Countable. Wall is countable. Why are uncountable, teacher? Which ones? Teacher. Yes, I'm I have a question. Yes. Why are uncountable beach and river? No, I didn't say they're uncountable. They say countable. 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 You can count them. It's countable. Yes, countable. countable. Okay, countable. Yeah. Okay. All right. What about uh, gold? Can you count it? Uncountable. 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 What about minutes? Countable. Right. What about Countable. village? Countable. 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 Right. Countable. What about tent? Countable. 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 Very good. Countable. What is tent? <laughs> what about answer? Countable. Countable. Right. Fun? Countable. Can you count how much fun you're having? No. I have one fun Uncountable. 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 Very good. Uncountable. What about newspaper? Uncountable. What about bread? Uncountable. Yeah. Bread is uncountable. Uncountable. Okay. Uncountable. All right. Okay. What about why, why teacher? Uh, because. All right, bread in this, in the States is not the same as bread in El Salvador. Aquí le dan cinco por la cora. Right? <laughs> in the States, okay. por si no hay panaderos que le vayan a dejar el pan allá afuera en su casa, all right? So you have to go oh, so to the bakery, all right? Entonces lo ven como un, um, como un pan entero, no como por eh, rodajas. Ah, okay. So that's why bread is uncountable, all right? Aquí sí es contable. Porque hacemos dos coras y le dan diez panes, all right? All right? <laughs> yeah. All right, what about game? Countable. 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 Countable, all right? Juice, it depends, all right? Sometimes no. it can be countable. Countable. countable, all right? What about um water? Uncountable. Very good. Oil? Uncountable. Uncountable. Yeah, you cannot say I have five powers. Okay, you don't say that. Uh, what about metal? Uncountable. Uncountable. Very good. Chair? Uncountable. Very good. Rain? Uncountable. Uncountable. Tea? Uncountable. Depend. Depend. I want one. Yeah, depends. It would be the same as juice, all right? Mm. All right, what about air? Uncountable. Very good. Library? Uncountable. Uncountable. What about seafood? Uncountable. Uncountable. Very good. Uncountable, all right? Sand? Uncountable. 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 Grammar? Uncountable. Uncountable is a subject. It's a school subject, all right? Smile? Uncountable. Uncountable. Yeah. Plant? Countable. 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 Baby. Countable. Countable. Very good. Wow, guys, you're so good at this. Very good. Ya están listas para un examen, eh? No. Teacher, I have a question. In groups, question? right. In groups. Yeah. What's your question? The grammar is countable. Grammar uncountable. is the name of a subject. If it's the name okay. of the subject, it is uncountable. Uncountable. Yeah. Uh -huh. All right. Okay. okay, guys. So tomorrow we're going to keep on talking a little bit about this, but using quantifiers. Here's that we can use for countable the quantifiers we can 
use for uncountable and the quantity we can use for both, okay? Okay. So try to be in class tomorrow just like you did today. Thank you so much. It was very nice to see you again. All right, and it's really, really, really raining here in my house very hard. In my house too. To listen to you, all right? So I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you very much for uh, being in class, okay? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, guys. Bye. 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 B